The Xerox Iridesce Production Press combines the value of highly automated, agile digital production with exceptional image quality and jaw-dropping embellishment effects, making it easier to unleash new potential with print and achieve remarkably brilliant results. One of the simplest ways to unlock the value of specialty enhancements with Iridesce is with spot effects using gold, silver, white, or clear specialty dry inks. We're going to use Adobe InDesign to walk through two examples in this video, but keep in mind that the process is the same in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start with this direct mail promotion that uses silver spots over a CMYK photo. The first thing we want to do is get our layers organized. We'll start by creating a base CMYK layer, then adding a silver layer above it, since we want the specialty effects to print over our photo. This layer organization mimics the way the inks are applied in the press. Notice we've capitalized the layer name. That's a good habit to get into. Now, let's create our silver spot color. Start by adding Pantone 877 Silver to your swatches, then double-click on the swatch to rename it. Specify it as a spot color so the press prints it correctly. Name the swatch Silver with a capital S, just like the layer. That also ensures the press maps it correctly. Now that we have the file logistics set, we're ready to start building the design. Select the Mod Eyewear logo and the graphic W, then go to Edit, Cut, and Paste in place on your silver overlay layer. Next, select the silver color fill from your swatches palette. That's it. An easy-to-create, eye-catching specialty enhancement done in about a minute. Now, let's look at another simple spot technique that gets a big wow. This design is done in a new file, but uses the same layer and spot color setup logistics that we have just reviewed. The big differences are ink color and fill. Our spot color, gold, is applied as a gradient fill here, which creates this unique look. To achieve this effect, we'll simply go to our gold layer and create the gradient element in the size and shape we want. Because we want to see the image through the gold, We'll go to the Effects palette, then multiply the gradient over the photo. That's it. When a file is ready to be exported as a PDF, there are specific settings that need to be checked. Start by going to File, Adobe PDF Presets, and select the Press Quality setting. Name your file and click Save. In the Adobe Export PDF window, start with General Settings. It's important to make sure we're exporting both visible and printable layers. On the Compression tab, ensure all image types are set to Do Not Downsample, and under Output, there should be No Color Conversion, and the Profile Inclusion policy should be set to Include All RGB and Tagged Sources. Lastly, under Advanced, make sure to note subset fonts when the percent of characters used is less than 100%. Then click Export PDF. Remember, these same techniques can be used with all the Iridesce Specialty Dry inks, giving you nearly limitless design flexibility. Be sure to review the Iridesce Design and File Preparation Guide for more ideas, tips and detailed instructions on how to use the Xerox Iridesce Production Press to unleash more high-value wow per page for all your digital jobs. Now that's brilliant. Visit Xerox.com to learn more.